。在美国前总统特朗普的任内，中美贸易关系经历了跌宕起伏的四年。那拜登政府上台之后，贸易关系将会成为中美关系发展的阻力呢，还是压舱石呢？带着这个问题，本期节目当中，我们专访到了美中贸易全国委员会的会长艾伦啊，分享了他对于中美贸易关系的一些看法和展望。那接下来，我们就把时间交给驻美国记者王冰如。在前美国总统特朗普政府时期，中美贸易关系经历了跌宕起伏的四年。特朗普对华一轮又一轮的施加关税，双方进行了十三轮贸易谈判，终于在二零二零年一月达成了第一阶段的贸易协定。从此，中美贸易关系从两国最棘手的问题成为了最稳定的领域。那么，在拜登政府上任之后，中美贸易关系是否将会继续成为两国关系的压舱石？今天，美中贸易全国委员会会长艾伦为我们分享他对中美贸易关系前景的判断，以及拜登政府时期对华贸易政策与特朗普政府时期又有何不同。President Trump didn't eliminate the U.S. trade deficit as he promised. So, to that extent, is Trump's trade policy a failure? So, I think that the Trump trade policy was really focused. On the bilateral trade deficit, and as you note, the deficit did not go down; it went up. Um, and uh, thus, looking at it from President Trump's own perspective,、uh, it cannot be considered a success. We have to remember that high tariffs remain in place. Um, and、uh, those tariffs going both ways across the Pacific inhibit、uh, the growth of trade, and、uh, they are an unnatural uh, impediment uh, to uh, many companies, either in China or in the United States. And I think that、uh, we、uh, urgently need to address those tariffs. Uh, rather than allow them to become permanent or semi-permanent,、uh, 2021 is an important year, and I'm hopeful that by the end of the year, these tariffs will have disappeared and trade、uh, trade growth, which had been very fast、uh, until 2017, could return to its normal pace.、Um, uh, and I think that that's realistic、uh, over the course of the next year. Do you see Biden administration actually show a sense of urgency? The Biden administration has、uh, an enormous sense of urgency around、uh, what is a national crisis, and that is COVID. Yes.、Uh, and that is、uh, the number one problem、uh, that we are facing. Also, the Biden administration is showing showing a sense of urgency about collaborating and coordinating with allies. <clears throat> Friends and partners. Allen 指出，拜登政府的对华贸易政策还没有完全的成型。其中一个重要的原因是拜登的经济团队没有全部到位。但是从贸易代表戴奇等人选来看，中美贸易关系将继续在复杂的环境中激烈竞争。而值得一提的是，拜登一上任就叫停了对 TikTok 还有 WeChat 的禁令。这是否意味着拜登政府对华科技公司的政策与特朗普有所不同呢？ Biden has just backed off on TikTok and WeChat. Do you welcome this move? The most important reason、uh, that the Biden administration has、uh, shifted on TikTok and WeChat is that it is following the courts.、Uh, so it's really、uh, court decisions、uh, that have impacted the TikTok and WeChat cases, and、uh, we need to kind of wait and see、uh, what. Uh, the new administration's policies will be on data、uh, and privacy、uh, and anti-monopoly、uh, in the internet area. Do you see a different approach from Biden administration? So the Biden administration is currently considering、uh, some rules、uh, that were passed by the Trump administration in the final days、uh, before the Trump administration. Left Washington, and、uh, the decision on whether to actually implement、uh, those rules has not yet been made,、um, and I think is waiting for、um, the uh, final um, 
approval of the new Secretary of Commerce. How do you see China's innovation ability and this booming Chinese tech industry? I'm incredibly impressed uh, by Chinese engineers, scientists, uh, academics, uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, I think that they are fantastic. Uh, and we see that in many different industries, uh, in IT certainly, but also in uh, 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 ph pharmacy and uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, medical devices, uh, in space, uh, and in uh, all academic uh, disciplines. China is moving very rapidly uh, and improving the innovation uh, environment. Um, that said, um, uh, when you get to the frontier uh, of uh, innovation and you're no longer catching up, then it becomes much more difficult. The past decade, what do you think impressed you the most in terms of China's growth? So um, over the last decade, uh, we have moved from quantity of growth to quality of growth. And I think that that shift has been remarkably uh, effective. Um, uh, the best example of that is the improvements in air pollution uh, around major Chinese cities. Uh, another very good example would be the infrastructure that has been put in, be it fast uh, rail or um, uh, water treatment, uh, uh, internet, and, and, and many others. 2021 is the 14th of the opening year. Aylun said that the main focus of the two meetings is the development of the two-pronged cross-border strategy for China. Also, in the tech and innovation field, the United States hopes that the U.S. trade policy will be able to be coordinated with WTO and the other foreign countries' trade issues in the United States. Aylun has lived in China for 13 years. After 2020, he didn't visit China. 中国，他希望在美国的新冠疫情结束之后，能够尽快的访问中国。凤凰卫视王冰如、王天意，华盛顿报道。